What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. In this video we'll take a look at some of the color OS features which I personally want to make through Oxygen OS. Before moving ahead if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe and giving a thumbs up on this video will increase the motivation level. I'm using color OS on my OnePlus 8 and currently it is only available for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro and 8T. You can find all the links in the description below and I'll also mention the installation guide. First talking about the stability of color OS trust me guys this OS is more stable than the oxygen OS present for OnePlus 8 series there are few drawbacks like you'll get to see few chinese blotwares and nothing else i was even able to sign in with my OnePlus account on color OS fluidity of color OS is so smooth that once you start using it you won't feel like going back to the oxygen OS and now let's talk about few of the features which i personally like and i want them on oxygen OS first let's talk about the launcher itself device comes with its own launcher which is called as color os launcher and we get tons of customization options here so as soon as you long press on the home screen you directly get the option of wallpaper icon layout widgets transition tapping on more will open up the entire settings of the launcher and here in the home screen mode we get these three options standard mode drawer mode and simple mode though i use this drawer mode but it completely depends on your personal choice then you can change the app layout swipe down on the home screen and there are also few gestures available along with that best part is you can directly access to the features like always on display themes wallpapers and icon style on your home screen you can add multiple folders in one folder also if you want to take out all these applications from that folder you have a quick access button for that just long press and tap on dismiss all the applications will be removed from that specific folder i like the tons of customization options available on color os so inside the settings we'll get to see this personalization section where you have tons of options to customize your device for example we have this theme store on color os there are few paid themes but still if you want them to try it out you can get the trial version for 5 minutes then you have this wallpaper section and in this also we have a cool feature like if you have any wallpaper or photos clicked you can just tap on this button and this will generate a wallpaper depending on the photo you have selected and you'll get few more wallpaper options depending on the picture you have selected and then we also have this always on display feature and this also can be customized as per your requirements you can set your own aod styles there are few custom color options you can change the location of text size of the text and you can also add few information like time date battery and notification by default we have lots of custom patterns for always on display Customizations are only not limited to always on display you get to see lot of fingerprint animations which can be used directly from the personalization section and talking about accent colors we have lots of options available here you can choose from these color schemes or if you want you can set a single color last but not the least under personalization there are two features which i have been using on regular basis one is this edge lightning and this edge lightning feature includes edge lightning for notification and for calls there are few color options available like neon purple ocean blue and amber orange along with this edge lightning we also have this video ringtone feature and that's kind of look cool when we have incoming calls nowadays a lot of people are into gaming and the game space application available on color os is damn good so this is how it looks and swiping from the bottom side you'll get lots of options to optimize the gaming performance as you can see here we have low power mode balance mode and pro gamer mode this will maximize the gpu and cpu performance and you'll also have better network latency along with that we also get to see few features like auto adjust resolution quick startup game assistant and another cool feature what you going to see on this game space application is this voice changer but this is not free you need to pay in subscription for it for network optimization we have options like block incoming calls smart dual channel network and the network acceleration so when you are into gaming you can swipe this game dashboard which again have lots of options to get better gaming performance on the top you'll be able to keep and track on cpu usage gpu and fps counter you'll be able to make changes in the performance modes guys i'll be doing a dedicated gaming test on this particular os so make sure to subscribe our gaming channel if i compare game space application with oxygen os i feel game space application available on color os is way better battery backup is one of the major concern on oxygen os but on color os we get few additional features to increase the battery life so here you can see we have power saving mode and then we also get to see this super power saving mode and once you enable it you'll have access to few basic applications but we still get an option to add more applications 
and after enabling super power saving mode you can see it says battery can last up to 1 day 11 hours and 17 minutes and i hope this feature should be added on oxygen os most users don't like the dark mode present on oxygen os but if this dark mode which is present on color os comes to oxygen os then it's gonna be really great because once you switch to dark mode under dark mode settings you'll get these three options one is enhanced second one is medium and the third one is gentle and this dark mode is present on oxygen os which is kind of gray color not completely dark you can use the enhanced dark mode and that will give you the complete pitch dark theme on your oneplus devices also i do like the gallery application present on color os and this gallery app have lots of options for editing and tons of filters and such editing options are missing on oxygen os i'll try to extract few applications from color os and we'll see whether those applications will work on oxygen os or not and one more thing on color os screen recording have few additional options if you go under convenience tool here you can find the screen recording options where you have the option to use custom resolution and bitrate along with that you can also use the front cam while gaming. Under frame rate, we get options like dynamic, 60fps, 30fps, etc. And another useful addition on ColorOS is this new smart bar, which can be triggered by swiping the edge of the screen. And this tool comes in handy when you're using your device and you want access to other applications. By default, you'll get access to a few applications, but if you want to add more applications, you can just tap on this plus icon and add tools and applications as per your requirement. And the last feature which is quite handy is this new windows mode. So while swiping for the recent panel, we get two options at the bottom. One is floating windows and the second one is mini window. Selecting any one of these will open up an additional window and which can help using multiple windows at the same time. Same way you can also use the floating windows. If you want, you can also increase or decrease the size of this floating windows. I do feel it's quite a handy feature for multitasking. So guys, these were the few features which I personally want them to make it through Oxygen OS. You guys let me know in the comment section below which feature you like the most on Color OS. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.